My name is Mary Coughlin, a defense for the Queens women's hockey team. Give full credit to the Gales defensively and on special teams as their penalty killing and goaltending tonight was spectacular. When I was seven years old or something, on my way to the rink, I was talking to my mom and we were uh, discussing, you know, where I thought my future would be in hockey and she said, do you want to keep playing hockey, do you think, for as you grow older? And I said, hockey just makes me happy. When I chose to apply to Queens, I contacted Matt and uh, we immediately built a pretty close relationship and I didn't commit early to come to Queens. It was actually pretty late, not till um, I think April, before, the April before I started. But I came up for a visit and I, I really fell in love with the campus. I was ready to move away from home and start kind of a new, a new chapter in my life. I had met some of the girls on the team and knew that they were, had a lot of success in the season. So the year before I came is when they won um, the OUA championship in that epic run. Um, so it was just something that I really wanted to be a part of the culture here. Probably my favorite is the handshake I do with my D partner, Alicia Seely. So we've been D partners. Uh, she's a year below me, so she's in her fourth year. Um, but ever since she came in, we've been D partners since she was a rookie. And um, whenever we start the game uh, before the puck drop, uh, and at the start of every period, uh, we actually go around and do a nice little handshake um, with our goaltender, Caitlin Mahonen, as well. But it's a good superstition that we like to get in. Uh, we get a little rattled if the ref tries to drop the puck too early. Stranded on a desert island um, is a tough one for a whole month. I guess I spend a good eight months with all my teammates, so it shouldn't be too hard for one month. Uh, it's kind of a toss-up maybe between Kyla Krause and Claire McKellar, uh, both because they, we really get along, get a lot of laughs. Kyla might be a bit more willing to help out with, you know, setting up the shelter and everything like that, but she's also kind of hyper, might get on my nerves a bit quicker. Whereas Claire, uh, we get along really well, we've lived together, so I know that we'd be able to, you know, tolerate each other and get some lashes. We're, pr we're both pretty relaxed, pretty laid back, and uh, I guess her hair is so red too, we wouldn't have to worry about you know that smoke signal keeping the fire going. It's pretty fiery. Yeah, so I'm actually now in a Master's of Science of Nursing program. So I did my four years of undergrad here at Queen's in the Bachelor of Nursing Science program. Nursing is something that's a very unique profession. Um, I would, you know, be hitting the clinical placements uh, several times a week during my undergrad um, and working in the hospital and community agencies and you really just, there's something special about the nursing role in a lot of settings. Um, you're able to help people kind of in their most vulnerable states a lot of times and, you know, help them through things and provide therapeutic support. So for me to be a Gale is kind of not only to be excelling in your sport and excelling in your academics, but kind of excelling as a person. So it's really driven home to us to be excellent in everything we do. And that's the, the Gale way. So to be a Queen's Gale is to um, engage in your sport, engage in your community, and engage in your social life and in your academics and putting your heart into that and getting the best success possible.